Hello everyone and welcome to another showcase video. My name is Hal and today we're going to be comparing the Filmic RGB and the Sigmoid modules. If you're new to this channel or to the format, this is the series where we apply what we've learned in the dark table from A to Z series. If you're having trouble following what we're doing, you can refer back to that series and you will find separate videos on all of the modules that we discuss here. Usually, we edit one photo from start to finish. But since this is a comparison one, I decided to choose four different photos and we're only going to concentrate on the sigmoid and the filmic RGB modules. We're not going to go through the editing from the start and the reason for that is because I thought that it would be good to see the difference between those two modules in different photos. I've already done some basic editing on those photos, nothing significant, just some color calibration, denoising, sharpening and local contrast, just so that the end result will be somehow aesthetically pleasing. Of course, keep in mind, this is not a full edit of any of those photos and won't do them justice, but at least there is a some basis. As usual, you can find the link to these photos in the description below. You can download them and then redo the edit yourself, either to redo the same steps or to try it out with your own workflow. All right, let's start. It's good to know that I've already adjusted the exposure to what I think is the correct midtones. I'll show you how it was without it. Um, well, no, because if I disable it, all right, I'll reset it. And do it again. As you can see, the original photo is quite dark. And the dynamic range is very much limited in the shadows. We're going to try to expand it and to bring out the shadows and the midtones. So we'll start with this. And until the midtones are visible. You can decide that visually based on what you see in the photo or check the scale here. All right, then I'm going to make a duplicate. Well, the duplicate will be exactly the same. The first one, zero, will use Filmic RGB. I'll enable it. And then let's see, what do we want to do? We can try, well, first let's do the reconstruct. That's one of the advantages of using Filmic RGB. So let's make sure we're using it. Then the loop, I'm going to expand the contrast a bit and see if I can use the latitude to no. All right, not that it's, it has to be there, but the mid-tone is really in the middle and we seem to have a nice curve. The photo looks quite contrasty, but with enough details in the shadows and in the highlights, the colors are okay. We can see if we need to change anything here
again the details are all in the filmic RGB videos there are three of them so if you would like a refresher feel free to go and check those videos contrast and highlights it's fine hard hard I don't think I need to change anything here all right looks okay let's see what we've done that's before filmic that's after before after looks fine let's pick the other one oh that is all right so one is filmic I didn't click on it just keep in mind and zero is going to be sigmoid let's enable sigmoid and that's the default I'm going to expand the contrast a bit and maybe skew it towards the highlights and lower this until we get a acceptable color here it's still quite reddish I still think it's quite reddish what happens if we put the other one yeah that's then not reddish at all which not being not having been there I don't know if the sand was a reddish sand or not but I'm going to presume that it was just probably not this reddish okay seems that that's this that's the best we can do I have not done any uh, color grading or editing or anything of the sort so that could be fixed somewhere else all right let's see the difference so I'll take a snapshot of this one go back to the filmic and click on that one and there you go that's the filmic and that's the sigmoid it's much much more saturated and well I mean of course there's no right or wrong it's especially if if you've made this photo for yourself not for someone else as long as you're happy with the editing you do it as you want it but I think in this particular case uh, let's put them next to each other all right here they are side by side in light table it's very easy to tell which is which this one is sigmoid this one is filmic RGB and there's a bit more detail here maybe there's a bit more light here here this is definitely has more pop but again it's up to you I personally don't like the colors again that's uh, was easy to fix so just had to choose another the, the second method to preserve colors but I just kept it to showcase it all right there you have it the first one let's go to the next photo okay let's do another duplicate and this one was quite dark I pushed up the exposure to get some light on the model but that as you can see yeah um, 
burnt some of the highlights so let's see if we can fix that start with filmic we're just gonna enable it white Construct too much. Okay, you can definitely do this more meticulously, but these are just more or less quick edits for the purpose of the video. Bit more contrast, yeah, a tiny bit. Okay. Maybe get this a little bit back. Okay. the preserve chrominance I'll leave it on this one and I'll take a snapshot go to the other one enable sigmoid Whoa, that's orange. Okay. Let's skew this a little bit towards the highlights. And definitely. We can lower the contrast, but it takes away all of what's nice about this photo. I really don't like how orange everything has become. Yeah. Okay, let's do this one on RGB ratio so that we test it as well, see what the difference is. Okay. And let's see the difference that's sigmoid that's filmic let's see them next to each other That's X, in case you don't know. That's the shortcut to open to. All right, that's filmic, that's sigmoid. Sigmoid has a little bit less contrast, but that's maybe because I was able to add more contrast here. What well, was able, I added more contrast here. I could have added more contrast here as well but already here the highlights are almost burnt well keep in mind that could be because I don't know how to use sigmoid or maybe that's these are the desired outcome uh, of sigmoid and it's just a personal preference but I still prefer this one has more contrast it's a little bit more I don't know this is more flat again that's because I added less contrast didn't add any contrast there but that's how it is let's go on to the third photo all right a new duplicate 
enable filmic and notice how the color go from that yellow orange once you recover some of the red all right I'm going to start here make sure I can recover some of the sky it's okay if some part are burnt the Sun is still not completely down go to the look I'm not gonna change anything here you add some there's already way too much contrast and I can compress it a bit but I don't think it's needed go back to the scene push that a little bit up not too much black doesn't have to be fixed I think tiny bit and it all depends on what you're trying to do I'm not trying to recover all of the shadows because it's a sunset photo and it would be quite weird if you could see all of the shadows okay a really quick one let's take a snapshot go to the other one enable sigmoid wow that's a pretty decent job on the default we can skew it a little bit to the other side to get some of the highlights back I think the colors are okay here it's still a little bit orangey if I move to no that kills it completely just a little bit less oh that is good yeah, I like that. All right, let's see how that compares to the filmic RGB. I pressed on it by mistake. So that's sigmoid, that's filmic. Oh, actually, I much, much prefer the sigmoid one here this looks a little bit plasticky now when you compare it I prefer the colors here it's very possible I guess to fix the colors we can go back here but I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because the point is to just show the different outcomes that you might have with both those modules I'm going to try another well actually no it's not as easy I'm not gonna keep on trying let's go to light table and put them next to each other and yeah there's maybe a little bit more details here but like I said I don't care I do prefer this one it's quite nice okay let's go to the last one that's still from the previous photo all right well this one is a little bit difficult but it's a very common scenario let's see with filmic uh, in case it's not obvious all of the highlights are burnt so you can see that here too there you go filmic does an okay job already I'm going to try and pull that even more actually I don't think let's see first Let's have a look at the exposure. I have not looked at that. Do we think that the midtones are well lit here? I don't think 
I know this is counterintuitive and probably if if you're tr actually trying to fix this one you would try to change the lighting on their face in a different module or at least by putting a mask here but just for illustrations purposes we're going to do it like this all right let's go back to filming okay to try to get this even down and the reconstruct definitely have to reconstruct most of the lights yeah um that wasn't what I was tr trying to do Okay, I can try compressing the contrast, but yeah, that doesn't help a little bit. Try not to make it too flat because that's not nice either. But let's see what did we do here. That's how it was, and that's what we did with filming. Again you can try changing things in the options, you can do a couple of iterations. Mm, is it helping? Not really. But maybe in a reconstruct we can switch this a little bit towards uh, texture. and see if we need any other colors except for the red i don't think i don't see a lot of changes all right let's leave it at this ooh i did not make a duplicate That's not very smart. I'll take a snapshot. I'll make a duplicate. That's not at the end of the world, of course. I'll just disable filmic here and enable sigmoid. Okay, let's try to do the same. A little bit less contrast like we did in the previous one. Skew it towards the other way skew it towards the shadows so that we can recover a little bit of the highlights okay can't do well I mean I can do a lot but that makes it a bit flat push that a little bit down to see well, I mean, I'm surprised there isn't a huge difference in the hue here. But I'm quite sure there will be once we put them next to each other, but not that I can see. Okay, how did that work do? Not bad. Look at how much we recovered. Okay, and if we turn that sigmoid, sigmoid, filmic sigmoid filmic wow i like the one from sigmoid better <laughs> because it has a bit more pop and it actually works on this one there is a little bit red in the highlights and filmic that's from the reconstruction tiny bit you can only see it because it's next to each other it might be related to the iterations of course it can be fixed but again this is a quick edit let's put them next to each other filmic sigmoid all right that's gonna do it for this video as you probably have gathered and as we've already said in the 
dark table from A to Z uh, video on sigmoid. There won't be a better one between the two objectively. It will depend on the photo, as you can see, and it will depend, depend on the editor as well, as you did see as well. You might be able to get best results in both, but there will be photos where it will be easier to get better result in one or the other. I recommend that you play around with them, see what their um, advantages and disadvantages or strong points and weak points are, and decide for yourself. And just keep in mind, even if you stick to using one, that the other one exists. And if you are unhappy about how the photo is coming up in one and it's requiring too much effort to fix it, try the second one and see it might be easier to get acceptable or even better results or best results in the other. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, requests or corrections, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.